testing phase we'll start a discussion here if we coming to the testing phase testing phase right task roles process proof task testing the developed application otherwise validating the client requirements in developed application roles test engineer process how test engineer will be followed to test the application right listen first of all test engineer will receive the frs document test engineer will receive the frs document this frs document test engineer study and try to understand it whenever they can study and understanding whenever they can study and understanding whenever they can study and understanding they are raising so many doubts that all the doubts mentioned into the one document that is we are calling as a clarification note we are calling these all the doubts sending to the development uh, sending to the senior people senior people they can send it otherwise business analysts they are sending clarifying all the doubts to the test engineer once clarify test engineer go for the frs document once again understanding very clear manner whenever they are understanding very clear manner all the requirements now test engineer start the finding the test scenarios that all the test scenarios mentioned into the test scenario document and this each and every scenario purpose they can start the writing the test cases these all the test cases we can go for the uh mention into the one document test case document we are calling after test case is written they are conducting the peer reviews what is the meaning of peer review means same designation people will be reviewing the document that is we are calling as a peer review we are calling what is the meaning of same designation people test senior writing the test cases some other test senior also writing the test case this test case is reviewed by some other test senior some other test case is reviewed by some other test senior so same designation people will be reviewing the document that is we are calling as a peer review we are calling whenever peer review is conducted and the test case are baseline what is the meaning of test case are baseline finalized baseline is nothing but finalizing the test case document finalizing the any document this is we are calling as a baseline we are calling so once again what is the process is going first the test senior will receive the frs document that frs document having the client requirements that all the requirements they can study and try to understand it because of same manner application is working or not we need to check it or not so first we need to understand all the requirements after understanding all the requirements now we can go for the here we can go for the here uh, any doubts is raising that all the doubts they can mention into the this documentation now some senior people will be clarify these all the doubts to the test engineer once again test engineer go for the frs document understanding very clear manner after understanding they can start the finding the scenarios what is mean by scenario i'll tell you later with examples with practically we will go for that just the process you need to understand here okay writing the scenarios <clears throat> whenever they are writing the scenarios and all the scenarios mentioned into the one documentation next one is we can write the test cases this is we are calling as a test case document test case document we can go for the test case document so if you coming to the test case document here all the test case mentioned into the one document whatever the scenarios they are written each and every scenario purpose they are writing the test cases okay so i'll tell you later what is the test case what is the scenario how to write everything i'll tell you with one project example we need to take it and we can go for that 
Okay, test cases are clear. Test cases are written. Now they are conducting the peer reviews. What is the peer review? Same designation people will be reviewing the document and finalizing the document, test case document. That's what we are calling as a baseline. So whenever test cases are finalized, so actually these all will be happen into the server. This is we are calling as a one server. Okay, this is a server. And this server, we can go for here. This is we are calling as a development base. This is, and this is we are calling as a software base. Software base. And this is we are calling as a test engineer base, testing base. Base. Okay. Here, what happened means this is a developer. The server they are accessing is one developer developing the application. Is one developer developing the application. Like there are so many developers developing the application in their client systems. Here also same manner. Testing is accessing the developer application. They can start the testing here. Okay, fine. So this is a setup. So these server what developer one, developer two, developer three. Whatever they are developing that all the developed application, okay, so they can develop and uh, uploading to the software base. This we are calling as uploading. Whatever a developer are developing, that will be uploading to the server base. Server. This is a software base they can upload. Whatever developer are developing, that they can downloading to the test engineer. This we are calling as a downloading. Okay, downloading to the test unit and accessing into the systems and start the testing. Whatever they written the test cases are, that all the test cases they are executing on that application. Now it is working properly or not, they need to check it. If they are finding defects, all the defects mentioned into the defect profile document and sent to the development department. Again, developer will be rectifying. Again, they can uploading the modified application. Again, test engineer will be downloading and really rectified or not, they need to check. So, this process will be continue, continue whenever application is defective free. Up to this process will be continue only. So, this is we are calling as a testing phase we are calling. This is we are calling as a testing phase we are calling. So, in this manner, we need to go for the testing phase. Finally, what is the proof here means? Quality application means defect free application. Quality application will be come out means defect free application is come out. So that is how we need to go for the here. So what here is happening here means development base is there, testing base is there, software base also there in server. Developer working in the development base. Whatever they are developing the software will be uploading into the software base. That software testing will be downloading whatever they written the test cases that all the test case executing on that application software. If it is working as per client requirement, they can feel as a quality, otherwise defects. That all the defects they can mention into the one document sent to the developers. Developer will be rectified, again uploading to the software base, again testing will be downloading. Again, they can start the checking here, really rectified or not defects. This process will be continue, continue whenever application is defective free. Up to they can implement the this process. So this is we are calling as a test engineer will be doing the process in testing phase like that. So this is a total process they can follow here. So this is a proof. Finally, what is the proof here? Quality application. What is the meaning of quality application? Defect to free application we are calling. So we are calling as a defect to free application we are calling. Understood?